Hello everyone and welcome to Darkwood, what is meant to be an incredibly atmospheric horror game that's actually also a top-down RPG. And I think someone said it really quite beautifully in one of the Steam reviews that I just read. Apparently it's a little bit like Silent Hill 2 having a kid with Hotline Miami. That sounds really amazing to me. Now, the game has been out for a few months now, so there's you know no doubt that there's going to be people watching this that have played this game before. This probably isn't new to many of you. Uh, but I have never played it before myself. In fact, recently it was just gifted to me, so thank you very much to one of my subscribers for that. The, uh, the credit will be down below in the description. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to this. Apparently, if you're a fan of the horror genre, this is a must-play, and, you know, if you haven't worked it out yet, I am, so I'm looking forward to this very much. As for making this a series, I'm not entirely sure, because... Uh, apparently this game can take maybe 30, 40, 50 hours to complete if the Steam reviews are anything to go by. And that really is quite intimidating to me. I, I don't know if I want to start a series that goes on that long. But uh, let me know your thoughts, I suppose. After the video is done, if you enjoyed what I did and you want to see more of it, let me know. Like, dislike, or leave a comment. And it will uh, it'll help sway what I do next, I suppose. Either way, I think I'm going to be playing this. It's just, you know, whether I record it or not, really. Anyway, enough uh, enough talking. Let's play Darkwood. Hope you enjoy it. Right, okay, let's go for this one. Um, normal is the forgiving mode, apparently. Okay. <laughs> uh, hard is unforgiving. Is there an easy? Nightmares, the ultimate thrill. Death is permanent. No, no easy mode. I guess I'm going to go with normal then. Uh, I want to play the prologue, I guess. Um, cool, but immersion breaking content. Okay, well... Yeah, let's turn that off. All right, here we go. I see hatred and fear in their eyes. As if I was responsible for the spreading disease. as if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. I have nowhere to hide from them, nowhere to run. The woods have closed us off from the outside world. We are all doomed. <laughs> Okay, nice to know where we stand. And here we go. Alright, so. WAS indeed to control the character, and it's the mouse to control my uh, my flashlight, or my cone of vision, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be very context sensitive, it seems. There's an alcohol distiller over here, let's examine it, I guess. Homemade device for producing moonshine, alright. I suppose during the apocalypse, you would want to get drunk quite a lot. And the potatoes for the moonshine, maybe, and um, the only edible thing growing on this land. You got a chair? Looks like I can drag it. Oh, okay. Neat. Right, where's the nearest noose? Maybe I should just end it all straight away. <laughs> uh, what's this? Medical notes. That I know by heart. I don't want to read them now. Okay. Uh, I'm a doctor or something, then? Ah, oh, check it out. Alright. Um, found a pill and a notepad. Cool. Nothing on the notepad. Apart from that little watermark at the bottom. Oh, I can move it around. I was trying to just flip through the pages, actually. I guess that's not a thing. Uh, okay. I've also found a pill. Ah. I guess that goes over there. That's my inventory. And that's a little hot bar, I guess. That's health. I don't know what this white bar is. Maybe stamina or something. Um, sure. So that's that. All right. Anything else to have a look at? There's a barricaded window, which I could dismantle. That would be suicide. Okay, let's not do that then. Let's try the door. Ha! Huh. Okay! I actually really like that, the way they do the vision and the light and stuff. Anyway, the generator's almost out of juice. I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Maybe I could find some gasoline there. I take it that's the east, that's north. Well, let's hope so, because I don't think there's like a compass or anything. Or maybe I need to find it. Anyway, uh, got a chair. Search the chair. Got a camera. Okay. 
Yeah, much like the notepad. Can't spin it around, have a look at the back of it or anything. Can you take the film out or something? I don't think so. Um, medical bag. It's useless apparently, but I'll, I guess I'll bring it with me. It's got some sort of value. Huh, okay. I guess we can sell some things. Photo? Of something from, I guess, 1985? Cool, sure. And that's all we got. So let's see, what... This is a cage? This time, they're empty. Alright, what about other times? That one too, alright. Metal door. Ah, I'd rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. Oh, maybe one of the infected? Right, okay. I do see something moving in there, actually. Or is... That actually might not be something in the room. That might be like a tree above the roof. I'll have to get used to this perspective. What about this one? Alright. Yeah, the way light works is great. So I've got a container here. Locks jams. Okay. Down here, I suppose. The color changing cursor, eh? Oh, I see. Yeah, it goes from uh, black to white. So, yeah, the white things I can interact with, the black things I guess I could maybe mouse over. Who knows? Um, what's in the wardrobe? Oh, loads of things, actually. Three alcohol. Got some rags as well. Is there a quick way of doing this? Okay. There is. Okay. Um, shift click, that was. My medical book? Oh. Oh, is this, is this Polish? Is this some sort of forest in Poland? Seems like it. And maybe this was the, um, the outbreak of this disease that's plaguing the land. Can I have a look at that? Nah, never mind. Okay, and what's this? We got a key. For the front door, it looks like. Sure. Uh, where's that kept? Not in the inventory. I guess there's like an important item slot I can't see. Right, sure. What's that? Oh, it's a radio. Okay. Do I take it with me or am I just leaving it there? I think I can hear voices through the static. I'm hearing something. That's my bed. Hmm. Oh, right. Okay. I have to say, it's kind of easier to see with the light off, strangely. I best not enter this room right now. Why? Is there someone else locked in there? I see a knife, a table, some scissors. I, I think another light as well, yeah. Right, so, uh, where are we going? Is this the front door? I left the key in the wardrobe. Well, I've got that. You can hold left mouse button, can you? Okay. Oh, that's kind of clever. So I could barricade the door or use the key or just try and open it. Unlocked with key, key. <laughs> Out we go, then. I don't know if that's the smartest decision. Oh, God. Is that a dog? Yeah, it's a dog. My dog. I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. Oh, you can't start the game off by mercy killing a dog. Well, maybe you do. It's brutal enough, I guess. All right, so space to vault stuff. Destroyed well. Hey, we've got something. Rope. Yeah, it seems like it's shift click to put it straight in your inventory, which is quite nice. Uh, my 125p. Used to be a luxury, but since all the access roads have been devoured by the woods, it became a useless pile of trash. Great. Okay. But there's nothing in it. Oh, there, hang on. Wait. The People's Tribune. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, th I think. I think that's Polish. I don't know. Just the pattern of the letters. That's the only thing that's really given me a clue. I don't know it or anything. What's going on? Oh, it's a wood. It's a wooden doll. I was wondering if that was like a child, a large humanoid doll with a carved-out face. Right. Okay. Well, I suppose we. What was that? Was that me? I suppose we want to go east, don't we? So, I guess that's a fence. And yep, space to go over. Let's see if we can find this tractor and find this gasoline. It's kind of interesting how you can only see things within the cone of vision. I guess it's not a flashlight, it is just a cone of vision. Yeah. 
What's that down there? That doesn't look too good. It looks like a trap, actually. What have we got here? I can't seem to vault the tree. Drag the axe to the... Ho oh, there's an axe. I've got an axe. I haven't got an axe. Uh, is there an axe around here? Oh, there it is. I see it. Nice. So, turn for the inventory. I see. Yep. Have I got it out? Yes, I do. Alright. Couldn't be easy, could it? No. Right mouse button to take aim and then left to attack. Okay. That seems to work. And it looks like stuff has durability as well, with that bar going down over the item. Shit. It's a bear trap. Is that a bear? That's a dead cow. Shit. <laughs> it's not a cow trap. The woods are full of them. Pick them up. Got a bone. So yeah, everything's got a value. So I guess I can sell stuff, but um, you know, presumably I could make stuff as well. Mix stuff all together. I think there is some sort of crafting system. No shift to run. Got ya, got ya. Are we, uh... Oh, have we got like a map or something? No. Shit. Oh, I see. Oh, great. The position on the map is not marked. Yeah, this game doesn't really hold your hand, it seems. But I guess I just found that, so yeah, I'm near the path, or somewhere near the path. So I go down here. Okay. This is actually pretty cool. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Yep, yeah, the woods have devoured all the roads that connected us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through the thicket. <laughs> Okay, I've only been playing this for like, what, 10 minutes or whatever, but yeah, I can attest that this is extremely atmospheric. Right. Damn. Hopefully the tractor's nearby. Looks like maybe a campfire or something? A, yeah, a burnt campfire! Ooh, lovely. Left control or left shift, yep. Yeah. Oh, I see, so left control, you actually just bring one over and left shift you bring the whole gang. Nice. Okay, does it work the same way? Yes, it does. Well, hopefully I'll, I can find like a, a backpack to extend my uh, inventory slots. Because that doesn't seem too good right now, honestly. I don't suppose I want to walk straight into the woods. I mean, let's, let's stay on this path. Let's uh, see if we can find this tractor. I should craft it. Oh, here we go. Really? How did you, where did that come from? <laughs> okay, so... Two ways to do the torch, I suppose. It's either bottles of alcohol or... Well, it looks like a jerry can, so... Yeah, okay. Uh, this one. Nice, nice. And what, drag it up there? Okay. Oh, that's... That's pretty cool. I don't know if it's absolutely necessary, though. Because I can see fairly well already. Still. Oh no, maybe I can't. Anything down here? No. I see another fence line for something. I guess we could probably climb over. Yep. Let's just see. An abandoned house. Yeah, I just wanted to confirm that that was actually a stamina bar. That white one. Right, an abandoned house. What the hell is this? It looks like maybe webbing or goo or I don't know, fallen tree. What in the fuck? Is there someone tied to that? In a few days it'll be completely absorbed. And a Okay, is are there human legs on that deer? Like someone tried to stitch them together. What in the fuck? Clothes. I found clothes. Okay. Uh, I take it we don't actually have anything we want to change, let's say. I don't want a new hat or anything. We're not going to change our, our jacket. Something like that. 
or rags. So, at the moment we can only craft torches. Do I have to find, like, a crafting manual to use the other stuff? I guess. i got a lot of questions with this game so far. <laughs> I could repair the doorway. I actually don't think it's worth it if you can just walk through the wall. Yeah, that one too. This place was just ravaged. And this is, I suppose, why I don't want to take down the barricades of my own place. This way? Still haven't found this tractor. Uh, that guy's alive. Maybe you want to stay away from him? Wait. I think that was probably me, but I can't be sure. Yeah, he's bleeding. I guess he's infected. Oh shit. Okay, I'm, I'm walking through like a, a bog, a mire, a marsh, or something. This seems to be the end of the line. I don't actually know if we can go really deep into the woods, frankly. Well, let's see. Check them out. Uh, yeah, it looks like there is something. Maybe. Fuck that, though. Even with the torch, fuck that. Uh, we should probably investigate, right? Yep, this one's still breathing. Is he gnawing at his own hand? I don't know what this infection is, you see. It could be like zombies. Is it unconscious? He doesn't look unconscious. He's got a big metal key. It was a massive value as well, like 1500? 21, sure. Oh. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a key and some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. Oh damn. But that's... That is of no importance. Am I a good guy? I don't really sound like a good guy, frankly. <laughs> uh, I need to get out of this accursed forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how, and I'll let you go. I sometimes hear her voice. She's calling me. I'm not in control of this, by the way. They're calling me to return home. Where is the exit? Where? He's not saying anything. Show me where. Oh shit. Yeah, he's not a good guy. Not really. Well, I suppose maybe it's just shades of grey in this place. Oh. It's a waste of a good chair. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. Yeah, he's uh, he's not the good guy at all. <laughs> Which is why we're not playing as him. Do we play as multiple characters? I, I, I guess. That fucker stole my key! <laughs> right, I'm on much lower health. I was wondering about that, actually, because nothing damaged me. Right, okay, so we've got a container here. An entry to a small cellar, maybe the pantry. Of course, he doesn't know. Uh, so, hang on, there's that plus symbol, so what else can I do? Search, examine, or use... Use a lockpick! Have I got a lockpick? I don't have any lockpicks. What do you have? Uh, nothing at the moment, but... I can make a lockpick if I have two... Uh, wires, paper clips, something like that, I guess. And dismantle. That's too strong to dismantle, right? There's got to be something around here. Oh, brilliant! Okay. Yep, I could craft some bandages and heal myself, and I'm sure I could make a lockpick with this stuff. So let's deal with the bandages first, I guess, just in case he comes back in to punch me. Um. 
How do you use stuff? No, I don't want to drop it. Although you can drop stuff, that's cool. Um, right, you hold left click and use it, it seems. Okay. It's not instant either, it's gradual. I like this game a lot so far. Let's make a lockpick. Okay. I guess I don't need to drag that into the bar, I just need to sort of like... Uh, left click this. Use lockpick. Unlocked! Alright, what we got inside? There's a shovel. Heavy. It has a good reach. And a flashlight. Okay, well, let's grab both of those. So let's see. Flashlight, I guess, is pretty good. Doesn't really help in here, though. And the shovel. Yeah, that's a weapon. Anything else down here? What is that, a bin? Hmm. Dismantle, I guess. It's too strong. So, do we... Would, maybe we just attack it? Is that a thing? Don't know. It's like wood is coming off, but I don't know. It doesn't have, like, a health bar. Unless... Well, is that what that bar is at the bottom? Still, I don't really want to unnecessarily break the shovel. That seems to be the only option, though. Try it again. Ah, right! Ah, I need to repair it. H how do you repair stuff? Is it a crafting thing? Uh, oh, I can repair it on a workbench. I need to find a workbench. Did this guy have a workbench? I don't think he did. Anyway. Where is he? This w Oh, fuck. Click. No, 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 no. Close the door. <laughs> With me on the left side. Might be a horrible little room, but at least I know it. Okay. Flashlight coming out. So, yeah. Now, the flashlight makes a hell of a lot of sense. Can we just... Oh, someone's actually turned the power off. I guess that guy never did find his gasoline, right? Ooh, a syringe. Take it. Nice. Maybe I'll, um... I'll use it on the doctor as payback for drugging me. Anything in the cage? What about this one? No? This wooden door. Oh. Okay. Right, okay, the doctor knows not to open it because there's something on the other side, but I, I'm none the wiser, so... I just need to find the code, I suppose. Uh, well, is there a way to back out of this, or...? Wrong code. Uh, oh, shit! Who's there? Yeah, there's someone in there! Please, let me out! Need to find a code. A four-digit code. Wasn't there a door or something there? The front door, that's barricaded. I better not leave at night, it's safer here. Right. Oh, that's so cool. There's the light beams going through the barricade. Down here then, I guess? There's that radio. Is this some sort of clue? Does that say four over there? Maybe. Um, might be a clue to the code, I don't know. There's... Oh, shit. That sounded fucking terrifying. <laughs> What's up with this? So, can't get out the front. I've had a look at that. There doesn't appear to be a room there anymore. Which is kind of odd. Can I use the... You know, I was just trying to use the flashlight as like a weapon. But it looks like I just turn it off and on, so I can't swing it like I would the, the shovel or an axe or anything like that. Um, but it looks like it's got durability. Maybe that means it's like battery power. I suppose we want to repair the doorway. No, I need, I need planks and... That looks like a nail actually, so yeah. I'm a little bit at a loss, I've got to be honest. I'm kind of wondering where this doctor guy is. Because if it's night, he's probably around here still. He's probably in that area and locked himself in, I guess. And w Wasn't there a door there? Wait, 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 hold it. Drag! Yes, drag! Yes! 
Oh, I see. Okay, I didn't think we could drag something so heavy in, but okay. Yeah, there's a door. All right, so now we can find out why the doctor didn't want to go back in. A metal table with a leather belt strapped on. Okay. There's the generator. Okay, that's not working. What's this? Alright, that's kind of nice actually when something is taking a while to do. You can have a look around the screen. Uh, okay, so we've got a, a jerry can of gasoline. Great. Oh, for the generator just down there. Okay, and a table leg. I can use it as a weapon. Alright, well let's replace that. Cool. Uh, I guess put that there as well. Cool. So. Uh, equip it. Yep. Hold right mouse button and left mouse button. Okay. Nice. And that little bar at the bottom, that's how much fuel is in there? Seems to be going up as I refill it, so I guess. Alright, we're nearly out. Yeah, the tank's empty. Okay, alright. So I can turn it on now, right? Hey, it's blindingly bright, but cool. Um, yeah, I don't suppose I really need this anymore. Let's go with the table leg. <sighs> oh! Hold on, sorry. Switch that on. What the fuck is that? That was a radio. Where? Examine it. The corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open and I can hear a distorted voice. Barely distinguishable from the radio static. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, he's got wires coming out. That's really weird. Are you saying something? No. Oh, no, you are! Four, oh, 4892. You know the code. Whatever the hell you are. 4892? Yeah? Yeah. This is really fun so far. Although I know this is like a tutorial area, so the game's holding my hand. Maybe when it sort of um, releases the reins, it won't be quite as good. Ah. Uh. Oh no, hit it. Ah, oh, that's how you do it. Yeah, just, just break it. Nice. Help me. I don't see you. Come close. Oh, there's someone around there. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, alright. Come on, motherfucker. Let's do this. Alright, let's not. Yes! No, is that the doctor? I don't know. Ah, shit. Need to time my swings better. Oh, yes! Oh, he's dead. A plastic chick. Not exactly what I was expecting to find. Okay. Cool, I guess. <laughs> Anything else in there? There's got to be something else in there. Let's get the flashlight out, yeah. Wait, hang on. He's saying, now how do you want to get out now? Do you think you can manage all by yourself? No, probably not, actually. I do hear it. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's, let's just... <laughs> Maybe hide. I don't think this is good. What is going on? Oh, that sounds fucking terrifying. I got. Oh no! 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 What the hell? Whoa! Oh shit, guys! They were the infected things. They didn't look human. I don't know what they look like. It's hard to tell.
was the prologue, I suppose. Wow. And now we get into chapter one. I, I'm actually very glad I did play the prologue. Right. So this is the main character. We're not switching back and forth. It was just... It was the doctor to introduce this guy. And where are we precisely right now? Oh, okay. Somewhere completely new, it seems. A dry meadow hideout. I'm here, and there's an underground entrance nearby, it seems. Okay. Considering the game is just saved, and I'm not exactly sure how the game does save, uh, this is probably where I'm going to end this video. So, uh, I guess now it's like decision time. Do I turn this into a series? I'm definitely going to continue playing it, but do I record it for you guys? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Either like or dislike the video, depending on whether you want me to continue this game or not, alright? Thanks for watching, and maybe I'll see you in part two. We are all doomed. <laughs> okay. Nice to know where we stand. Right, where's the nearest noose? Maybe I should just end it all straight away. Really? How did you... Where did that come from? I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. Yeah, he's uh, he's not the good guy at all. Where is he? This will... Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Close the door. <laughs> With me on the left side. Oh. Oh, there's someone around there. Oh, shit, okay. Terrifying. I got, oh, no. No, 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 no. No. What the hell? Whoa! Oh, shit, guys! 